Alright guys, Mimi Mimi 405 here, and I'm bringing to you a mod, it's how to mod your, wow, I'm smart, um, how to mod your Xbox Live gamer tag. Now right now, as you can see, this is just all boring like, well we're gonna change that, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna change that to. So, if I go here and switch my profile, oops, sorry, <laughs> wrong one. If I go to this profile, here's what we're going to be making. Goes to this, just hit B. Voila, if you look up there, you still can't really see a whole lot. It just shows a bunch of zeros for what it looks like. But then when you go over to Modern Warfare 2, and this is non-live, by the way. This account isn't live. I'm going to be... Sh uh, with the example, I'm going to be doing this with a live account, just to show you it does work for live accounts without a JTAG. Continue to multiplayer. Uh, for this, let's just go uh, on hard drive, system, or er, split screen. Voila, look at that. And I've already done a 10th prestige hack, so it shows me prestige 10, but look at that. Oh yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you need what's called a USB flash drive. Yeah, see? USB flash drive. Now you got to go and plug it into your Xbox. So, just like this. Voila, wow, not that hard. Now it's in. Now you got to go over to your dashboard. Um, sorry for the quality, but I just thought... Thought it'd be easier with this, you know, because I had to show the USB for those morons that have no idea what it is. So there it's loading up. And then you're going to go all the way to your system settings to memory. I'm going to go to your hard drive. Gamer profiles. This one, if you're new to modding, I suggest make a new profile. But I'm not, so I'm just going to use my main profile. Click move. Move it to your memory unit. Okay, so once you're done that, just fo follow me to the computer. Alright, we're back and on my computer. Now for the real fun modding stuff. Now, presuming you've already downloaded this from my site, uh, what you want to do is go into USB X Half Explorer, open this here. Now you're going to see this. Go to File, Open Device, presuming that you've already g got your USB flash drive plugged into your computer. Now you're going to go into content, and these are your gamer tags. Now, what you want to do is find the one with your most profile, or with your most content. For me, it's four. As you can see, it's got all that, and that's my actual gamer tag. Now what we want to do is going to click out, go to this, extract, preferably to your desktop. That should say extracting. and not work but looky here we still actually managed it so now all that means is that we're gonna have to go back into it and find our profile again no big deal so now what we're gonna want to do is open easy gt 2.2 now reminder that this is all free and without a jtag what i want to do is go to this hit open now you're going to want to go into this. That's what I just showed you. Now it says my original gamer tag, profile ID, and console ID. Now we want to go to add. Now here we've got all these cool options, and if you've played Modern Warfare 2 before, you know that there's been the occasional person that's got this and it's totally pro. I'm going to leave it as me, 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 four or five, but I'm going to make it red with the left stick and the down pad. Okay, so then you're just going to want to hit save. Ha ha ha. Now, don't worry about that if you've got a virus thing. Um, now, you want to go where to save. Just go to your desktop. You can close out of that. Just checking if it's still there. Here's your modded profile, and here's your original profile. Keep both. Now, because mine closed, you're probably going to want to go back to your USB X Half Explorer. 
Yours probably didn't close. My guys got unlucky. Now you're going to go back to your profiles and drag this one into it. Okay? So now you've got a fifth profile. Now you just got to hit X and plug this back into your Xbox. I'll show you what I've just made. Alright, so now we're back on our Xbox. I'm going to be showing you what you just made. So now, of course, you got to plug your USB back into your Xbox. And now you're signed into your normal profile, like always. You're going to want to go to your profile and click Switch Profile. Now what you want to go to is this new one. You'll see it has a bunch of random numbers. Or actually, I'll just zoom in here a bit. A bunch of random numbers and one mods. But for me, I got to go to this Xbox Live one. Because that's the one that I just made. So, go to sign into that. Now you're going to get this. If you want, just go yes, test connection. And run through the basic tests of Xbox Live. So, test Xbox Live connection. Now it'll test. I, kn I know that it's connected to Xbox Live. But you always want to be sure when you're doing this. Okay? And sorry for blurring out those, but I don't like giving that away. So now it's connecting to Xbox Live. Oh, look at that. It's started. It's almost there. It's about halfway there. Alright. Alright, see, Xbox Live is up and running. So now, you just want to hit back. And hit sign in. To this again because now that I know I'm hooked up to Xbox Live so no cancel okay I'm really confused right now this is really not working but <laughs> all right I, I still got time sign in Okay, and now it'll give you all this. Just hit the home button. Notice your sign-in status has changed. Returning to the main menu. So now you get all this. Because it's a brand new account, you got to go through all these. And then just go through that. Now you want to go to multiplayer. And from there, this is the cool modding part. You want to go to your memory unit. And go to Xbox Live. The current profile is not allowed to play on Xbox Live. That's normal. So you should, get, if you did it right, should get that. So now what you want to do is just click OK. And sign into your main profile. For me, it's just me, 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 405, Xbox Live. So now it's signing you in, and it gets you there. So now you want to go to Xbox Live as creating playlists. Now you can see that my gamer tag has in fact been modded. Yes, I think that's pretty cool actually. And if you look, it still has all of my things. It's not like a brand new live account. I've got all that. Just like normal. Alright, so thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned any something. And if you have any questions, just give me a comment. If you want to join join our new modding clan leave a comment if you want to join my one hit clan leave a comment remember to rate favorite comment and subscribe thank you for watching